Hi everyone, welcome to Esoteric Detective. I just uploaded this video but I had to remove it because I forgot to turn on my microphone. So I'm sorry about that. Anyway, what I thought I'd do is I'd you know, post a few videos a week here on Esoteric Detective just because I come across so many interesting things from the news cycle that a lot of people, I guess, on the outer light probably wouldn't be so much suited to because it's uh, quite political. And the outer dark, which is I've for the meantime, I've just haven't put as many videos out on there. So I've come across so many interesting things that I want to comment on, and here's one of them, for example. This is here from the Independent. So what they're stating here is, in fact, uh, some very, and this is quote unquote, actually very particular signals are being picked up by a nearby star called Ross One Two Eight. As a matter of fact. Um, this is from the Arecibo Observatory. So this is a pretty serious uh, bunch of scientists. And this could be something very interesting. The reason behind that is that this signal, which they're stating possibly could be solar flares or something strange like that, they are starting to dismiss. The reason behind that is uh, it doesn't display any of the frequency characteristics of things that come from solar flares. And also they state that even another explanation in regards to something akin to satellite interference or satellite signal interference doesn't really explain this either because of the mere fact that satellites themselves, this is again outside that frequency range. So what are these signals that are being reported? Well, people don't know yet, but it is making a bit of news. It seems that now with the sophistication level behind equipment becoming more advanced, there's a lot more of these things being picked up <clears throat> here at the uh, Arecibo Observatory, if you want to know, which of course was the observatory in the film Contact. Although it, a lot of people speculate to have been aliens, of course, <clears throat> the scientists, which are heavily conservative, are not really uh, going with that line of thought right now. Of course, they never do. <clears throat> Most of them don't even believe aliens are visiting our planet, of course. I believe that an extraterrestrial is myself, or at least about 95% sure. I mean, who can really be 100%? There is a percentage chance that it could all be something we can't even, you know, is outside our reality. We just can't really understand it. So scientists studying nearby stars have spotted very particular signals coming from one of them. Okay, very strange signals. Unexplained pulses, as I mentioned, from Ross 128, a small star that is located in the constellation of Virgo, according to astronomers. This again at the Arecibo Observatory. The signals appear not to be the result of interference, since they are unique and to the specific star and weren't spotted when looking at the other stars before and after. <clears throat> so they've ruled out the fact here that this is specific to a certain star. This is about a star or something happening and some kind of very strong signal being sent, which doesn't appear to be solar flares. Of course, a lot of researchers and scientists have been, in fact, looking into stars in general, especially after what happened with Tabby's star last year, which again is still being investigated. A lot of people were speculating, even Nobel uh, prize was winning physicists came out later said that the comet hypothesis just doesn't fit it has to be something else indeed what's happening there people are speculated to could be something akin to a Dyson sphere but who really knows so again we have these very interesting things from space and what's happening is these are speeding up there's a lot more of them actually being uh, revealed or found maybe they were all organic maybe they were all in space to begin with and was always there or maybe that these are things that our sensitive, uh, sensitive equipment or something to do with the earth has uh, some type of strange uh, you know strange evolutionary cycle now where we're starting to get to the stage where our equipment is sensitive enough so we can pick it up or there's some kind of communication happening who really knows I mean this is still pretty far away so there you have just an interesting article. I mean, I come across this stuff all the time, so I thought I might post a little bit of it here over on Esoteric Detective, just posting a very quick video to see if you're interested. Would you like to see more of this kinds of things on Esoteric Detective? I virtually come across it every day. 
And I was just looking at the, one of the flannel lighthouse mysteries, which I posted in December 2015 on Esoteric Detective. I don't know if anybody actually remembers that video. But I come across this new information, different kinds of mysteries, things happening in the world. And it's very nice having just a little platform in order to put these out. So something interesting there, very particular signals if you haven't heard about it. The link to the independent article is seen up here where the URL is. Will be placed of course in the comment section so you can take a look at that. And go out and have a look at it, do your own research, of course decide for yourselves. And if you want to see more, just let me know and I'll start posting more on here uh, if that's your thing. In the meantime, though, this is Ed from Esoteric Detective. <laughs> and um, sorry about the other upload. I forgot to turn on my microphone. It does happen. And in the meantime, this is Ed from Esoteric Detective. Stay safe and I'll see you all later.